everybody, so today I decided that I was going to film a eyeshadow do's and don'ts. On this side I'm going to do the don'ts and on this side I'm going to do the do's. So the palette that I am using is the Revolution Ultra Eyeshadows. I have just put foundation on for now and powder and blush. Usually I just go over with foundation or concealer on my eyelids but I haven't done that today because you can either use a primer or eyeshadow, whatever's best, uh, whatever you find is best. But I personally use concealer because I feel like it hydrates my eye eyelids a little bit more. Um, so on one eye I'm going to put concealer and on the other obviously I'm not going to. So this is going to act as a primer and also it will conceal all the little um, little veins that you can see through the skin and then I'm just going to take this Real Techniques base shadow brush um, so it's a nice big fluffy brush I'm going to take this colour it will act as a lock in for the, conce for the concealer which will help it blend better with the other eyeshadows and you don't want one that's too dark compared to your skin tone or too light either and on this one I'm not going to put any so you can also already see a little bit of a difference on this side in my lip I've got a little bit of redness that goes along there uh, but this one is concealed and you can't see anything it will also help your eyeshadow last longer so with the, the same brush I'm going to go in with this colour as well always tap off the excess of product on your brush so then it won't it will still do it a little bit but then it won't drop onto your cheeks um, so I'm just going to put this on half of my eyelid maybe a little bit of three quarters between halfway and three quarters away and then on the other eye I'm just going to go in straight with a dark colour I'm going to put it all over and I'm going to put that one on. What you don't want to do is you don't want to put a dark colour on the inside of your eyelid because that will make your eyes actually go close together because most of the time you see people put in a light um, sort of shiny highlighter sort of thing in the inner corner and that's to brighten the eyes up and also to make them not look like they're really close together so you can already make notice a huge difference in between the eyes now i'm going to change brush and i'm just going to go in for a lot smaller one and i'm going to go in with that color tapping off the excess and i'm just going to put it on the outer corner want to just blend it out because it make it look more natural and on the other right I'm gonna go in with the same brush and same color but without blending without tapping off the excess so as you can probably see on this side you've had a little bit of droopiness like the eyeshadow has fallen onto the cheek and on this eye because you've tapped off all the excess you haven't got that and then I'm just going to go in and brighten up my eye with the lightest colour on the palette and I'm going to use this colour and then with the same brush because it's so thin I'm just going to go underneath the eye on both sides so with the same colour as the outer corner of it, again tapping off the excess. So you don't want to go too far in. So 
there we have it for this week. Um, so I'd normally finish off with a little bit of mascara, but my camera is actually running out of battery. So don't side, do side. So thanks for watching this week. I hope you enjoyed this little quick video. Um, like it if you did, subscribe if you're not already, and don't forget to comment anything down below. Thank you.